Good afternoon. My name is Jean Reynolds, and I have the great pleasure of supervising performing arts for Pinellas County Schools. You're in for a great treat this afternoon. These wonderful students have had two or three days of incredible experiences working together, and it's like a, um, a wonderful workshop that they're going to present a culminating, a culminating performance for you. I want to thank a couple of people before we start, our wonderful communications team who are here and they're videotaping this event so that you'll be able to see it probably on our, our TV channel and also the streaming online. So I really appreciate them. And the person I want to thank the most is the person I'm introducing right now, which is our coordinator for this event, Jacob Merritt, and I like to refer to him as a force of nature. He's just an amazing, amazing educator who envisioned an all-county event five years ago, is the champion, the evangelist for guitar education in Pinellas County Schools, and candidly, none of this would happen without him. He will be your MC for the afternoon, and he is, I am just honored to be able to work with him. Please welcome Jacob Merritt. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome again to the fifth annual Pinellas All-County Guitar Festival. We were looking at that the other day. Couldn't believe it had been five years. We actually have two students who are at the very first one. Raise your hand. The two kids who are at All-County number one. Awesome. Oh, no, you were not. You were not. He's still in middle school. All right. So we have a great program this afternoon, but I want to talk a little bit about this group of students. We have in the front two rows right now, we've got the middle school ensemble in hanging out in the back row, waiting their turn patiently and quietly with their guitars flipped in their laps and not playing on their cell phones because it's going to be on TV, are the high school students. These students were selected by their directors. There was not an audition process per se. Maybe they did that at their own schools. But these students are selected by their directors because they're hard workers and they are good musicians. And some of them just started guitar at the beginning of this school year, and yet they're up here on the stage. So. It's really, really awesome. So, some of them have been playing for 12 plus years, but we've got a nice range of abilities. But the clinician for this event is Mr. John Demas. We'll bring him out in just a second. Um, over this week, I guess three days, we were here Thursday night, all day yesterday, and this whole morning rehearsing, getting ready. It's more than just the product that you're about to see on the stage. It's more than just the notes that you'll hear here uh, today. Mr. Demas brought them through all kinds of musical ideas, ideas about life, ideas about everything, and really helped to guide these kids and hopefully shaped their musical experience going forward. And, and hopefully they, they come to love music and love to play the guitar. And that's really the goal here to get students to, to be lifelong musicians, lifelong music lovers. And I think that Mr. Demas did an excellent job of that over the last couple of days. Don't you guys think? Yeah. So, uh. so Mr. Demas is going to come out in just a second. I'll talk. You can read his full bio in your program. But he is a professor of music at the University of Tampa and also an instructor at Hillsborough Community College. He is a world-class guitarist and bazooki player. You'll learn about that in a little bit. Not bazooka, bazooki. And he will play a little bit for you, perhaps, through the day, if you're lucky. And um, without further ado, here is Mr. John Demas. I'm always taller than most people. Uh, I would like to thank you parents for allowing your children to come and be a part of this program. Uh, I had met uh, Mr. Merritt at Blake High School uh, Guitar Festival in February a couple of years. I think I met John Campbell a few, probably four years ago. I, I've been doing this. I've been teaching at Hillsborough Community College probably about 26 years, and I've been at UT about 18 years. And I, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time working with younger people, but I see one of the fastest growing things within the community is the guitar. And the guitar is, you know, it's a cool instrument. It's portable, people like it, you pull it out, it has a lot of, of, of value to it that, that you could basically do anything with a good foundation. So, you know, I'm, I lived in Hillsborough County until two weeks ago. Now I'm a member of Pinellas County. And um, Jacob Merritt is incredible. I mean, she had already praised him, but the, the fact that he's a pianist and he supports guitar as heavily as he does, 
all these teachers that I worked with uh, were incredible as far as their time, their efforts, putting things together, anything that I needed, making copies of things, I mean, going through the programs, they, they made my job like really easy. Uh, my most, um, the thing that I wanted to do with this more than anything is to make this fun. You know, there's, there's parents don't understand what it's like to be under pressure on a stage in front of people, and especially when you're at a certain level and, 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 and if, you, if you have a bad musical experience right off the bat, you don't want to do it. So you have to want to do this. It takes a lot, of, a lot of nerve to stand in front of people and to play and to put yourself out there. You can go and fail a math test or an English test and nobody knows. But when you're playing a live performance and you fail, everybody there knows you fail. So I, first of all, I want to I give these kids a round of applause. Second of all, I, I was a single dad. I raised three kids by myself. I had twins that were seven and a 10-year-old. And these children were wonderful, okay? You guys are just wonderful parents. To, to take the effort and the time, they were respectful, they were polite, there was no clicks, they were willing to help each other. I mean, it was such a pleasure to, to hang out with them and, and, and do the things that we did. I gave them many lessons, not only outside of music, but about life, about preparing their future, about waking up every morning and wanting to find something that you want to do with your life, because it's not about how much money you make or what degree you get, it's what you want to do. And, I, and for my personal endeavor, I, I did everything in my life until I found what I want to do, and then I couldn't believe somebody was going to pay me to do this. I wake up every day and I get to play guitar and I get to teach guitar, and I love what I do. And it's, it's really nice that, that they had offered me this, this chance to come and do this. So without a bunch of talking, I'm not going to talk between the pieces. Enjoy the concert. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your support.
All right, so next up we have a very special and important part of the program. As far as I know, that we are the only all-county to do this. We feature solos and ensembles as part of the all-county festival. So this is going to be really cool. We always have some really, really interesting and different stuff going on. It also buys us a little time to change around the stage. That's okay. Don't worry about that. So our first soloist, he's already over there ready. If you look stage right, that's your left. Max Smith is an 11th grader at Osceola Fundamental High School. He will be playing a piece called Stage 4, Fear of Trying by Frank Iero. And his interesting fact is that he is planning to attend medical school. So here is Max Smith playing Stage 4, Fear of Trying. Georgia Dunning and Israel Graverin. Israel is a junior at Lakewood High School and he likes Pokemon. That's what he wants you to know about himself. He likes Pokemon. And Georgia is a senior at Lakewood and she wants you to know that she plays the tuba and the steel pan in addition to guitar. Um, they will be playing a concerto in G major, the third movement, opus three by Antonio Vivaldi. And yeah, let's hear Israel and Georgia. Go for it.
since they're my students, I'll call them out a little bit. They, we are playing that piece in class in a good way. This is a good call out. But we're not actually playing that on our winter concert, which is on Wednesday. So that means they actually practice that extra. We're not playing that anytime soon. They just did that for fun. And I know that every single student up here has other stuff that they could be doing right now. But they're here making music on a Saturday. They gave up their time to make music. Some of them had concerts Thursday night. Some of them have concerts next week. Some of them, they all have exams coming up soon. They have all kinds of stuff going on, but they're here making music, and that is a really, really amazing thing. So let's hear for all of these students for putting in the time. It's just amazing. They do so much stuff, but they're here, and that, that's just so cool to me. All right, and the uh, last one in this group, we will have, uh, I'll probably mispronounce it, I think I'll get it right, Brianna Quiroz, and she will be playing, she's in eighth grade at Largo Middle School. She will be playing along with her teacher, Miss Savia, and they will be playing a, yeah, yeah, Miss Savia. Yeah. Some fans out there for Miss Savia, good. <laughs> She'll be playing River Flows in You by Yuruma, and she wants you to know that she is pretty much a self-taught artist. So let's hear Brianna and Miss Savia. Right, so now, real quick while we get ready for the high school ensemble, I do want to thank all of the directors that are here. If you'll just wave 
directors, high school directors, will hear from you a little bit later as you introduce your students, and middle school directors as well. So a lot of them are not guitarists by trade. I am not, but that's okay. We, we love teaching music, and we love giving these students opportunities to play music. So thank you to all the directors and for all that they do. Let's hear for them real quick. Now we'll turn it back over to Mr. Demas and the high school ensemble.
high school students. Yeah. All right, so next we have a few more solos and ensembles. So if you guys want to go ahead and move to your places for the combined ensemble, that'd be great. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to thank a few people and a few organizations that helped us out. The Pinellas County Music Educators Association is the primary sponsor for all of the all-county events, and they helped us provide lunch for your students yesterday, and we had a snack this morning, and they've just been really supportive. President Jason O'Bara, I don't know if he's here, but anybody that's on the board, if you're here, you want to stand up. It's here for Pinellas County Music Educators Association. <laughs> I guess I'm the representative from the board. I'm on the board, so it's fine. All right, also, uh, we're here in, at the beautiful music center here at St. Pete College. How many of you remember the gym last year? Who was in the gym last year? Yeah, isn't this much nicer? This is what I had in mind for SPC, so let's hear it for being able to be in this venue. couple of people we need to thank the uh, Dean of Humanities, uh, Dr. Jonathan Steele, who went to Lakewood High School. Yeah, Lakewood. And then also the uh, director of the, Mu the MIRA program here at SPC, Dr. Pat Hurley. He and his staff were the primary contact and they helped us out immensely and they pretty much helped us get everything together from, you know, staff to open the doors for us, everything. We got everything from them. So let's hear for the SPC folks that helped us out. All right, so our next group over there, we have Monica, Maximus, and Litzy. They're all from Clearwater Fundamental. Monica's in seventh grade, and Maximus and Litzy are in eighth grade. Monica likes, no, I think, yeah, Monica likes sports and playing the saxophone. She also plays the saxophone. Uh, yeah. Maximus also likes sports and he wants to learn how to play the drums. He was looking around the, the music building yesterday trying to find somebody offering drum lessons. So if anybody wants to help Maximus out over there. And then finally Litzy, she loves to dance and she loves to read as well. Uh, they're going to be playing old French song. Go for it guys. Awesome job, you three. One thing I want to point out, and uh, Gene Reynolds mentioned it at the beginning, this is more than just a concert. We had a whole workshop this week, and I don't know if you heard it from both the middle schoolers and the high schoolers, there's just such a high degree of musicality. They're playing very musically, and that's something that Mr. Demas really focused on, not only technique and developing how to play the guitar, but also how to think about music, how to approach music. And they, you, you'll hear more when, when we hear them all together, but there's just some really great music being made, and, and mm -hmm. it's really important that we understand that they're growing and these students are going to continue to grow and it's amazing that they're here but it's more amazing that almost all of these kids hopefully will sign up for guitar next year and a lot of them already said I'm coming back next year I'll see you next year so let's hear it again for these students
And our last student soloist is Jacob Rumpf. He's a senior at Osceola Fundamental High School. He's going to be coming here for the SPC Mira program next year. I forgot to mention Georgia is also planning to come to SPC next year. She's a senior. I, I should have mentioned that. Sorry, Georgia. All right. Jacob loves to play drums in addition to guitar, and you may hear that featured a bit. He's going to play an original composition said, I have, called, I have no idea, I wrote it yesterday. Wait, you're not actually going to say that on the concert, are you? <laughs> so here's Jacob's original composition.
All right, so we'll finish up here with the combined guitar ensembles. When the students are done, you can take your pictures and all that, but they do need to get their cases and things out of the green room, which they can get to through the lobby. You guys know where it is, right? Let's let the middle school students go first, and high school students, you hang out for a minute, and they can get their cases, pack up, and get out of there as quick as you can, and the high schoolers will go after that and do all that, okay? So, we hope you've enjoyed this evening. Thank you again to Mr. Demas. Thank you. Thanks to all of you for coming. Thank you to all of the people that I'm sure I forgot to say, but thanks again. And thank you to the students for making this happen. There's the ones that are playing music, right? So here we are with the Pinellas All-County Guitar Ensemble. Thank you.